Hi everybody, my name is Deb Rainbow and I'm very proud to be the Director of Hazel Glen Kindergarten. I would like to welcome you all for those people who are current parents, maybe you're returning with another one of your children or it might be your first time joining us. We really hope you enjoy your time with us at the kindergarten. In this video you're going to hear from several of our staff members who are going to talk about our programs, different policies and processes that we have that will make your transition into kinder and life as part of our kinder family an enjoyable one. So I would like to welcome you and I look forward to seeing you at our Meet the Team night later in the year. Hazel Glen College acknowledges the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nations as the traditional custodians and educators of the land on which the college stands. Hazel Glen College respectfully recognises all Elders past and present. We are committed to enhancing the knowledge and understanding of our community about the history, heritage and cultures of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. In the coming weeks you will receive another email from the kindergarten. There will be some very important documents in this email that we encourage you to read very carefully. They will include the parent information book, which I'd love you to read now, and also at the beginning of next year before your child commences at kindergarten. You will also receive a letter that will confirm what group your child has been placed in for kinder. In, there, in the email also will be an application form for extended care. There will be a flyer about um, Story Park and also a uniform order form. There will also be a note that outlines the first session of kinder for your child next year. All the groups start on different dates, so it's important that you're aware of which date your child will start. Thank you, Deb. Hi, my name is Andrew Baines and I'm the educational leader here at the Kinder. And it's with great enthusiasm that I have the opportunity today to share our philosophy, policies and curriculum with you. Our philosophy. Children make sense of their world through play-based experiences which are meaningful to them. Our play-based curriculum follows the children's interests and the teaching is intentional. So we focus on inquiry experiences, curiosity and discovery. At Hazel Glen Kinder, we have clear and concise policies that state our guidelines and rules. And all of our policies can be found on our website. So that's at Hazel Glen College with our Kinder, or it is also found on Story Park, which is a program that we'll be exploring later in this presentation. Okay, so let's explore our Kinder and I guess our program in more detail. So our Kinder program runs over three sessions across three days. So this is both morning and afternoons with a total of 15 hours. Um, so with our Kinder environment, we like it to reflect on the developmental, pardon me, developmental needs of our children. So it is definitely play-based. And um, with our program, it focuses on their interests. So we, we know this to be called inquiry-based. Um, so our groups will comprise of either 33 or 22 children and if you have 33 children in a group then we have three staff and if there are 22 children in a group then there are two staff to support these kids. So our program itself includes both indoor and outdoor play so please know that our children will probably get dirty all year round. Uh, we definitely recommend that you pack a spare pair of clothes um, and ensure either gum boots or wet weather shoes are provided all year round. So the curriculum at the kinder is based around children's interests and we spoke about that on the previous slide. So we take an inquiry approach where we discover what the children want to know um, and how they would like to know it. So we plan around these interests and we do that both within and outside of the classroom. So when you walk into our rooms, each classroom is de designed, pardon me, around differing learning experiences. So a couple of these experiences might include sensory stations, craft activities, they might have a book corner, pretend play, and these are just to name a few. So at the kinder, we are incredibly passionate about children's agency, and that essentially means hearing their voice. So this gives the children power to make choices that directly impact um, what and how they learn on a daily basis. Um, so throughout the week, the children are also challenged with what we call provocations. Um, and provocations are open-ended actions or materials or questions that the teachers might um, pose to the children. So this allows them to explore their own ideas and problem solve and essentially work collaboratively with their peers. Um, when we look at our social and emotional support that we offer to our children, this is through our You Can Do It program. Um, and through this program, we introduce five new classmates into the room and they're Oscar Organised, Connie Confidence, Ricky Resilience, Gabby Get Along, 
and I think it's peak persi persistence. So through these characters, the children will have the opportunity to develop strategies and I guess skills um, to, to support their positive self and to develop respectful relationships uh, with others. Now, with literacy and numeracy, this is definitely embedded across our program. Um, and with our four-year-old groups, they actually have the opportunity to partake in our nature play program. And this is where the children are able to head across to the wetlands just over the road from the kinder. And they can um, explore that area. They can question and challenge, I guess, in a natural environment. So it's a really uh, exciting step to look forward to for our four-year-old program or in our four-year-old kids. I mentioned before that both literacy and numeracy are embedded within our program and we do this every week. We do this in a number of ways. Uh, one is definitely exploring phonological awareness and we do this through rhyme production, might be syllable counting, initial, final sounds, alliteration and that's really just to name a few. Uh, our teachers and educators uh, read stories, sing songs and produce rhyme and this is a fabulous way to really immerse our children um, in, vo in new vocabulary and to really celebrate the love of literature. Um, and to do that we also have, um, we also celebrate book week every year uh, and this is when we explore different Australian authors and illustrators and our children have um, that uh, well they're given the opportunity pardon me to come to kinder dressed um, as their favorite book character on top of that every week we have our children um, well our children have the opportunity to go to the lending library peruse the shelves find a book of interest that they might like and then they're able to take it home to you where you can also share your love of uh, reading with them by reading that book that they bring home. Um, our teachers and educators also, uh, I guess, monopolise on incidental teaching moments where they follow a, ch a child's lead on a particular topic and they're able to explore this further in the moment. Um, in terms of maths and numeracy, we do this by looking at measurement counting, shapes and mathematical language and these are all examples of how we embed numeracy into daily practice um, at the kinder. Hi everyone, I'm Cassie and I'm one of the kinder teachers here at Hazel Glen Kindergarten. As Andrew mentioned, we have our You Can Do It program here and that is our social and emotional program that we incorporate into our kinder programs. We do that in many different ways. We do that through planned group times and inten intentional teaching moments or we may do it incidentally through our everyday language, small groups. We try to incorporate it as much as we can just throughout our entire sessions at kinder. Within our You Can Do It program, we have five main characters or friends as we like to call them at kinder. We have Connie Confidence, Gabby Get Along, Oscar Organisation, Ricky Resilience and Petey Persistence. Through those characters, we sort of explore those fundamentals with the children and get them to build a bit of groundwork about their social and emotional development. What we like to do here at Hazel Glen Kindergarten is have a planned program for outside as well as our inside learning space. That can look very different depending on the groups and the sessions that are running, but basically we're really lucky to have two outdoor areas. We have our outdoor space at the front of the kindergarten, which you would see at drop off and pick up times, with our equipment where the teachers will put out spontaneous things based on the children's interests, as well as planned specific experiences based on what the children are learning about or what they want to explore further. We're also lucky enough to have our kitchen garden out the back of the kinder, which you may not see. And in that space, we have more grass areas for the children to explore ball games, hula hoops. I know a lot of, lot of children like to roll down the hill, but we also have garden beds, which the children are really lucky to have within their kinder groups. What the garden beds promote is it helps the children to not only take a bit of ownership about their outdoor space and environment, but they also get to learn about growing their own food, for herbs, vegetables, and then later on in the year, we get to try those foods as well, which is really special and the kids absolutely love. It not only helps them look after their veggie gardens in that space, but it helps them create connection with their environment as a whole. Another thing we're really lucky to do here at Hazel Glen Kindergarten is use our wetlands, which is opposite the kinder behind the soccer fields. This is something we explore with our four-year-old children and generally in terms two and three where the weather's a bit more appropriate, but we love to get the children out there as a whole group and it's, and it's really special. It kind of gives the children a different opportunity to explore nature and their world. It gives them the opportunity to become creative with their environment let their imagination wander, use resources in a different way and really find connections with not only their kinder world but the world around them as well, which is really special. I know a lot of children in the past have even collected resources from the wetlands and brought it back to explore in their kinder rooms as part of their program. 
we bring out binoculars, magnifying glasses, and they just love to let their minds wander, their creativity flourish. It's a really special time. So what does a typical session at kinder look like? Obviously this can vary slightly, but basically most sessions will start off with a group time and this may be where the teachers will do their provocation or their intentional teaching for that session or for the week but it also may include some spontaneous things children may like to share what they've done on the weekend if it's been someone's birthday and all those sorts of things we have indoor play outdoor play depending on times we'll have our snack and lunch in there as well we have lots of routine and structure, especially in the four-year-old kinder sessions, getting them prepared for school. But what we like to do as well uh, is include a visual schedule where the children can actually see what is coming next in their day. That helps them not only take a bit more understanding as to what their kinder session is going to look like, but it also helps them be prepared for what's going to come next so they know when home time is, when snack time is if they're feeling hungry, and it gives them that connection to their kinder day as well. Hi, I'm Tammy Penta and I'm one of the kindergarten teachers at Hazel Glen. All right, what to bring to kinder? So you need to bring a healthy snack or lunch each day, depending on what session you have, uh, a water bottle, sun smart hat, a change of clothes, and that's a very important one because they can get wet or dirty at kinder, uh, the lending library bag, um, and you need to ensure all containers and drink bottles are clearly labelled with your child's name. Um, and children will eat together, so there'll be no sharing of food, so you need uh, their lunch boxes labelled as well. Yep. So throughout the year, we have transitions to school, um, which continues throughout the whole year. Um, and so that includes visits to the prep, co uh, to the college, to the prep playground, visits to the prep area, the college assemblies, visits from and to the prep teachers, um, school transition programs and transition statements, which we give to the school as well. All right, so with the second year of kindergarten, um, you've got to try and think, is your child ready for kindergarten? Because um, children can't automatically have a second year of kindergarten. And the second year is only available for four-year-old kindergarten. Um, and to have a second year of kindergarten, they need to be delayed in two different areas of the curriculum. So we use Story Park as our main platform of communication with you and it's a really great tool uh, because it's where we can share photos, learning stories, goals and strengths for each of the children, reflections, you can share your parent aspirations with us, uh, newsletters, reports, announcements, celebrations and our program planner which we upload every fortnight so you can see what the children are learning. So as you can see on the screen, uh, this is an example of the learning portfolios that your child will have, um, which shows photos, learning stories, and all of the things that we've just talked about as well. And uh, we'll also upload the program planners. As you can see on the screen, we'll upload those to Story Park. Um, and we also have a copy of those in our room as well, which we annotate as we go along as well, because obviously with kids, we've got to be flexible and sometimes the learning um, changes and we want to add new experiences. So that's what we do in the room as well. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm one of the kinder teachers at Hazel Glen. Um, I'm going to be talking about dropping off and collecting children. Uh, each session you'll need to sign your child in and out of the session um, and the sign, bo sign in books will be located in the main foyer. Uh, children can only be collected by adults so they must be 18 years and over and they must be listed on the enrolment form. If your child is to be collected by another adult you must complete an authorisation form. This can be done via email or over the phone in emergencies. So the person picking up your child must present ID to staff when they collect your child um, and if your child's coming to or from extended care program, the staff will give will sign them in or out. Children will be dropped off and collected by their teacher or educator at the wooden gate. And then children at the end of session will be collected from inside their kinder rooms. Doors will open 10 minutes prior to the conclusion of sessions to avoid congestion in the room. All right, injuries. Um, if your child becomes unwell or sustains an injury whilst at kindergarten, staff will attend to the needs of your child um, look after them, take care of them and contact you if they need to be collected. Uh, we'll also have an incident report at the end of sessions for injuries. Um, if your child sustains any form of head injury, uh, you'll be contacted to collect them. And illnesses, if your child's ill or sick at all, please keep them at home. If they're unwell or show any signs of infection, uh, it's very important to keep them home as this spreads illnesses very quickly at kinder. 
If your child's absent for any reason, please ring or email the kindergarten to advise of the reason for the absence. And medication, if your child requires medication during kinder, please hand it to the staff member on arrival. It's got to be in its original bottle and a permission form to complete will be with the teacher. Um, that allows us to make sure we're administering the medicine correctly and giving them the correct amount. And medication is definitely not to be left in children's bags, so just make sure you hand it to the educator on the gate. Thank you. Hi, my name is Candice Giles and I'm a kinder teacher here at Hazel Glen Kindergarten. We love to celebrate birthdays at kinder. Every child's birthday is made special. However, we do not celebrate with food. If you wish to send something along to kinder for your child to give out, please consider these suggestions. A balloon, st stickers, party blowers, pencils are some good examples. There will be a chance to meet the team. The dates are the Thursday, the 21st of November, between 4.30 and 5.30 for three-year-old kinder and 5.30 to 6.30 for four-year-old kinder. This will all be sent out by email. There are many ways that you can get involved in helping out in the kinder rooms. To do so, you'll be required to complete the parent helpers training, provide a copy of a working with children's check and fill out and sign a confidentiality form. There will also be fundraising events where we would love to get help from you to run. Parent teacher interviews will be running on Wednesday, the 29th of January, 2025. A try booking link will be emailed out and interviews will be held in the kinder rooms. Three and four year old groups commence from Thursday the 30th of January 2025. For our uniform, we have a Hazel Glen Kindergarten t-shirt, hat and wind cheater available to purchase. Uniform order forms will be emailed. You will be notified when uniforms are ready for collection. This is not a compulsory uniform. Um, it's purely by choice if you want to purchase it. Hi, my name's Amy Perkins and I'm a teacher at Hazel Glen Kinder and I'm here to talk to you about our extended care program. Our extended care program complements the kindergarten programs. We have learning through play, building on children's interests, activities that are planned and are spontaneous, and numerous indoor activities and outdoor activities. When you have completed your enrolment form, the following will need to be emailed back. The application form, the fee payment agreement, and the $50 admin fee via credit card slip. Enrolments will open via email on Monday the 28th of October 2024. Extended care commences Monday the 20th of January 2025 and operates throughout the school year, including school holidays. If children are in extended care during lunchtime, which is 12 p.m., they will be provided with a cooked lunch. Other meals provided include breakfast, morning tea, afternoon tea, and a late snack. We are also CCS approved. Thank you for joining our Hazel Glen Kindergarten community.